Canada contains 21 active volcanoes. Of these, the vast majority are located within British Columbia and are in remote locations far from civilization. One example includes the CX Cone, which last erupted in 1700, representing Canada's deadliest eruption. However, several hundred kilometers north-northwest of this volcano is another little-known volcanic system. This volcano bears evidence of young volcanic eruptions such as the explosion crater shown on the screen. The volcano I'm referring to is known as Heart Peaks, which is considered to be an active volcano. This video will discuss this very remote Canadian volcano and mention what its future hazards are. The Heart Peaks volcano is located in an isolated portion of northwest British Columbia. Due to its remoteness, the closest major city is Juneau, which is 150 kilometers to the west. This massive volcano measures 28 kilometers long and 13 kilometers wide. The reason why Heart Peaks is elongated towards the north and south relates to how this volcano formed. In this section of British Columbia, tectonic forces are slowly stretching the crust to the east and west. This stretching of the crust creates a series of cracks which then allows magma to travel upwards and erupt onto the surface. As such, Heart Peaks is an ancient shield volcano associated with a long fissure of magma. Similar fissures of magma are also responsible for the construction of three other nearby active volcanoes. These volcanoes form a sort of chain where the spectrum range is the southernmost of the group, Mount Edziza is further north, then Level Mountain, and finally Heart Peaks on the northern end. The Heart Peaks are the single oldest potentially active volcano within Canada as it began forming approximately 23 million years ago. At the time, a volume of low silica basaltic magma intruded into the crust before erupting on the edge of a mountain range within a low-lying plain. This fissure of molten rock soon solidified into a series of cinder cones. Eventually, one of these cinder cones became the emphasis of activity, which began building a single broad volcanic cone. The lava it erupted had a very low viscosity, so it quickly flowed downhill at speeds of up to 30 kilometers per hour. After several million years of eruptions, a broad shield volcano had been constructed. This shield volcano was 800 meters in height and contained a single elongated rift zone representing the underlying ever-present fissure. On occasion, an eruption would still occur from one of these fissures, thus building this volcano in the shape of a rectangle. What followed was a long period of dormancy during which large amounts of ice and water carved away at the edges of the modern volcano forming steep valleys. When Heart Peaks erupted again, the lava it erupted was more explosive as it now erupted trachyte instead of basalt. Over the next several million years, large sections of the volcano were covered by this brown-colored volcanic rock forming a large plateau. Lavas then became more viscous once again, erupting a series of andesitic lava domes in the center of the volcano. Later, a series of thick rhyolite lava domes erupted on the western edge of the modern edifice which had a high degree of hydrothermal alteration. This left behind colorful red, yellow, and pink colored lava domes. During the last ice age, the overall volcano was covered by a thick glacial ice sheet, but eruption still continued. Since some lava erupted into a glacier, it could not travel very far and slowly built up into a steep-sided hill. Eventually, a large section of the overlying glacier was melted by its proximity to the lava, forming a small subglacial lake. As subsequent eruptions continued, the volcanic cone eventually reached the height of the lake. Lavas then slowly deposited along the level of the lake water, forming a flat top. By the time the eruptive series had ended, what remained was a unique subglacial volcanic feature termed a toya. Several toyas and other subglacial volcanic features from this period of activity can be found in the northern section of the overall volcano. Since the end of the last ice age, there is evidence of one, potentially two recent volcanic eruptions. One of these likely originated from a 340 meter wide crater which formed as the result of a phreatic eruption, although its true age is unknown. Due to the uniform, highly explosive nature of recent eruptions from this volcano, its next eruption is also likely to be highly explosive. It will either create a new Mar explosion crater or a pink-colored rhyolite lava dome. Both of these eruption types would generate pyroclastic flows which could reasonably travel up to 8 kilometers distant. However, absolutely no one lives close to this volcano. The only at-risk area is the road and towns located along Canadian Highway 37 which could be affected by minor levels of ashfall. Also, any future eruption could disrupt any air traffic in the region as sparse as this may be. Using the US Geological Survey method of rating volcanoes, Heart Peaks would be classified as a very low threat volcano. 
I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.